hi today we will cover object pool pattern implementation uh, before you watch this video please log into my channel and watch object pool pattern introduction i have created a separate video for object pool design pattern introduction uh, first watch that video so that you will understand what is object pool pattern why we need this and i have provided some example also uh, so after watching that video come and watch this video so that you will understand uh, this video clearly okay so now i will go and uh, explain uh, object pool uh, design pattern implementation uh, so this object pool uh, design pattern has uh, three important uh, objects one is client another one is reusable and another one is uh, reusable uh, pool uh, reusable is object uh, which is expensive to create and uh, that reusable object will be shared by multiple clients for a limited amount of uh, time okay and uh, client is the one which uses the reusable object and uh, reusable pool uh, is object uh, which is used to manage the reusable uh, objects and if needed it will cr create a reusable object also it just manage the reusable uh, objects okay and uh, you can see here pool size equal to n and uh, we can define uh, pool size okay if uh, pool size is defined as phi then only five reusable object can be there in the reusable pool okay now we will see how it works okay. so here uh, you can see a reusable pool and uh, it has uh, four methods get instance uh, which will return a reusable pool object and acquire reusable which returns a reusable object release uh, reusable you have to pass reusable object which is and um, method type is void and set max pool size you have to pass the size you will see each method and what is the use of this one step by step okay and uh, this reusable object uh, should be a singleton class so what is singleton class i have uh, created separate video for uh, what is singleton class how to define singleton class all those things please log into my channel and watch that video so that you will understand what is singleton class okay and uh, so this uh, reusable uh, object should be a singleton class and uh, it has uh, get instance method and which returns a reusable pool object okay so if uh, uh, class is singleton then the constructor will be the private uh, so that uh, other method or other class can't create object of this uh, reusable pool object only way they can get the object is calling this uh, get instance method okay and uh, suppose uh, client want a reusable object uh, to uh, do some uh, functionality so what client will do is okay give me a reusable object uh, to the reusable pool uh, by calling acquire reusable method so what this acquire reusable method does is uh, it will check in the pool uh, any reusable object is available or not if it is there then it will return the reusable object to the client suppose uh, the reusable object is not there then it will try to create the new uh, reusable object uh, before it tries to create the reusable object it will check the pool size uh, if uh, uh, pool size is uh, 5 and already 5 objects are there then it won't create the new object if uh, pool size is 5 only 3 objects are there then ok it will create the new object and return the uh, reusable object to the client ok suppose it can't create the reusable object then what it will do is it will wait for uh, uh, reusable object uh, which which will be uh, written back by some other client so it will just wait okay so first step is like uh, client will call the acquire reusable method if it is available in the pool it will return if it is not available then it will it will try to create one and it will uh, uh, return back if if it cannot create then it will just wait uh, for reusable object which can be released by some other client later point of time okay and uh, then this client so this client is uh, responsible for uh, acquiring that uh, reusable object and use that uh, reusable object once uh, 
it finishes uh, its jobs then it has to release uh, the reusable object to the uh, reusable pool so that some other client can use the same reusable object so to release that uh, object what it will do is uh, client will just call release reusable method so it will pass the reusable object also then the reusable object will be added to the reusable pool and what is the use of uh, this set uh, max pool size is to set the uh, pool size uh, we can set uh, 5 or 10 if 10 means only 10 reusable object can be available in the pool okay. so this is how uh, we can implement uh, object pool uh, design pattern we will see one uh, example okay real time example so most of us know uh, bowling how to play bowling okay and uh, the suppose one client is going to the bowling club so what client uh, does is uh, he will go to the bowling uh, uh, bowling uh, showroom uh, showroom area and uh, there uh, the shoe uh, sh shoes will be maintained in the shelf this is the best example of object pool okay so client will uh, go to the bowling club and he will ask that uh, bowling club member okay uh, give me the shoes uh, so that uh, he or she can uh, play the bowling so self dot acquire shoes this is equivalent to acquire reusable object here so the bowling member uh, what uh, he will do is he will give uh, uh, shoes to the client okay and the client will wear that shoe and uh, he will play the bowling once uh, that is the second and third step so once he finishes the playing uh, he or she will return uh, shoes to the sh uh, bowling member he will he uh, the bowling member will uh, just put the shoot in the uh, the bowling uh, uh, the shoe uh, shelf okay so this is the best example of uh, um, uh, object uh, pool okay so here this uh, shoe rack or shoe shelf act as a object pool so from this uh, the reusable object is shoe so the shoe is used by the client and once uh, client finishes the bowling uh, play uh, the client will just return back the return back the shoes to the uh, uh, to the bowling member so that bowling member will put it in the uh, shelf uh, uh, the shoe shelf and that same shoe can be reusable by some other client okay so this is the real example of uh, object pool uh, design pattern and uh, this is about uh, object pool uh, design pattern implementation uh, thanks for watching bye